basically with all the load growth in the city now, uh, the loading's getting a lot higher and uh, some of the substations are needing more capacity. Our department started with the transmission line work in uh, January, where we started to install the tower footings and uh, we had the steel assembled and then eventually uh, put up using cranes. Uh, we're now in the process right now of stringing the conductor and uh, doing the dead ending. The new technology with the, the implode sleeve saves uh, workers a lot of time making the splices. On a tower uh, where we have the three conductors and the two sky wires, the implode sleeves are put on all five wires and detonated at the same time. Hey, this is an explosive cord that's been wrapped around the aluminum sleeve and then a protective wrap to keep it in place and then they also have gaskets here to stop the charge from going up and damaging the end of the sleeve. So they'd pull the plug out, the wire would be inserted into the sleeve, a blasting cap will be taped to the sleeve, the blasting cap will uh, blow up and it'll ignite the charge on the sleeve and this will create an implosion that implodes in crushing the sleeve right so it's fused tight to the wire. To splice the five conductors the old conventional way with a pump and a press likely would take in the range of uh, four to six hours, uh, whereas the implodes can be uh, prepped and uh, detonated within an hour. Because of the loud noise it makes, there's concern about uh, the kids in the area because there's an elementary school located a couple of blocks away from the towers where we're using the implode sleeves. Yeah, I, I just wanted to let you guys know so that uh, when you hear it, it's not a danger to them of getting hurt because of the area. It's more the, the shock of the, the loud noise and that. So uh, we're quite concerned about the kids and uh, working with the schools.